subject of today's live session is the independence of the two hands. This one seems to be quite a popular uh, subject actually in live conductors. More often than not, you have been taught, um, like most conductors, uh, me in premise when I was uh, just starting, to do things with two hands mirroring and then to do just uh, beat time with one hand and do something else with the left hand, something that's something else, namely being expression but not really being focused. I mean, I mean, do some expression with the left hand doesn't really tell you much, does it? It tells you improvise or you know come up with some some of your own uh, uh, ideas, whatever that that is. So. Uh, what I have learned actually is that there is, of course, a different way of uh, tackling uh, scores, tackling music and tackling conducting technique, which then offers you different possibilities, including doing two things at the same time, which is very effective and very useful, especially in some kind of music. However, let's not get ahead of ourselves. And um, for the first thing, we're going to look at something uh, for alternating hands. Now, what you see here is uh, a normal uh, seating that you can have nowadays, where you have the first violins on your left, then you have the cellos next to the first violins, the basses behind the cellos, then you have the violas, and then you have the second violins on your right. For the first thing that uh, uh, we're going to take take a look at. The, it's an exercise for alternating hands. It's actually quite it's a easy uh, way to um, mm -hmm. to begin. What you can do, mind you, all these exercises should be done with a metronome, starting slow and gradually uh, increasing speed. This is what you do when you practice an instrument, right? Uh, whatever instrument you practice and you play, you have a particular passage, what you do, uh, you start slow, you slow it down, you put the metronome at 60, 70, and then you move up until you reach the desired speed. And this is exactly the same thing. Con studying conducting technique is exactly the same thing. Same train, same, same kind of uh, thinking. Start slow so that your body can understand the, the movements that it needs to make so that your brain can understand which movements each hand or arm needs to make and then you can speed it up. So uh, for this first uh, um, exercise, which I say is quite easy, it's about alternating hands, meaning that which comes very useful, for instance, when you have to cue different section. Taking this seating, uh, you are on the podium, so let's assign the right hand of the stage, so the violins and viola, to uh, the right hand, and the left part of the stage, so violins, cellos, and basses, to the left hand. Okay? And you can start at very slow in a 4 4 pattern. One, two, three, four, if you wish. Or one, or four one two three whatever the pattern you want to make that doesn't doesn't that that doesn't really matter what's important is that you do one you go from one section to another and then each point you actually pulse this helps you in one very simple thing starting to think ahead of who you need to cue and when so once you cue the second violins, then your mind should already be going towards the violas, which are your next cue, and then towards the first violins, which are your next cue, and then eventually, if you have them, towards the cellos and the, uh, um, and the basses. In which case you think second violins, violas, first violins, basses, second violins, violas, first violins, basses, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And once you've cued one section, you move physically your arm towards the, other, the, the, the next session. 
remember that in order to queue, you always need to put to, to anticipate what um, the players are doing. So you not you don't queue the event, you queue before the event. If you're at home and you need to practice uh, this thing, you can put all your post-its on the wall with every post-it is a section of the, or of the orchestra in within the seating of the orchestra. And then you can exercise queuing one section on the other. The important thing is that you don't do it with two hands at the same time, of course, but you alternate hands and you can mix and match different uh, uh, combination of uh, section. Now, what is this good for? Well, let's take the, our first example. After the first five bars, what do we have? Second violins, violas, first violins in this case, right? It is one of the most famous pieces in music history. In, in, uh, da -da -da -team, pa -pa -pa -pim. Pa -pa -pa -pim, pa -pa -pa -pim, pa -pa -pa -pim. One, two, three. Second violins, violas, first violins. But that's where you see the, the um, practical application of the exercise. Left hand, oh, sorry, right hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, right hand, left hand. Now, this is not doing uh, two different things at the same time, it's alternating hands but it's a good way to start and ease yourself into starting to think of not two hands at the same at the same doing the same thing at the same time which means that one when you um, move your right hand the left hand doesn't move when you move your left hand the right hand doesn't move and then you end up doing one two three four one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button right below this video and uh, ring the bell so that you will be notified every time a new video comes out. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video, if you have any suggestions for future ones, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of this series. In the meanwhile, please continue to enjoy music and be well. Ciao.